Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So I've been using iPadOS 26 Beta 3 on my iPad Pro for a little while now, and I wanted to share some of my experiences with you. This isn't going to be one of those super in-depth, every single feature covered videos, but more of a relaxed chat about what's new, what's changed, and how it feels to use day to day. So let's get into it. This is my iPadOS 26 Beta 3 review, what's new and my experiences so far. And the first thing I noticed, and it's a small one, but still nice, are the new wallpaper options. We don't have a bunch of brand new wallpapers, but the default iPadOS 26 wallpaper now has some different color choices when you go to customize it. There's shadow, a lighter one called halo, and a more purplish one called dusk. It's a subtle change, but it's nice to have more personalization options. Now for a feature that's actually pretty useful, especially if you use a trackpad or mouse with your iPad, it's called shake to find cursor. If you've ever used a Mac, you'll be familiar with this. You just give your iPad a little shake and the cursor gets bigger, making it way easier to find on a cluttered screen. Again, not a huge deal, but it shows Apple is still tweaking the little details. One of the more interesting changes in this beta is the liquid glass effect. In earlier betas and even in the WWDC presentation, there was a very noticeable translucent glass-like effect in places like the tab bar in Safari and in the control center. In beta 3, it feels like they've toned that down a bit. It's less transparent and more of a fuzzy look. I think it actually makes things a bit more legible, but it's a definite change in the design. You can also see this in the music and photos apps. The Files app got a nice little update to its video player. Now, when you're watching a video, there are two little dots on the bottom right that give you quick access to playback speed and dialogue enhancement. There's also a new option to show text for videos that have it. Multitasking is a big focus for iPadOS 26, and in Beta 3, we have the new menu bar options for minimizing, closing, and maximizing windows. There's also a new multitasking bar that makes it really smooth to launch and move between two apps. Now let's talk about performance. This beta feels really good. It's fast, it's fluid, and I've noticed that loading times are better than they were in beta 2. I haven't run into any major bugs, crashes, or springboard issues, which is really encouraging for a third beta. Overall, it feels like iPadOS 26 Beta 3 is more about bug fixes and stability improvements than it is about brand new flashy features. And honestly, that's what I wanna see at this stage. It's a really solid update and it makes me excited for the public release. So those are just a few of my thoughts on iPadOS 26 Beta 3 so far. I'm curious to hear what you all think. Have you been using the beta? What are your favorite features? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.